Hi, everyone. This is Mike Talks Cars Podcast, Episode 55. News. In industry news, Toyota Motor Company has big plans for Liberty, North Carolina. Toyota plans to build a battery plant capable of building enough batteries to power 1.2 million vehicles per year. The investment will be approximately $1.29 billion and will start with four production lines, each capable of about 200,000 battery packs per year, and plans to expand to six production lines as demand increases. Toyota has taken a lot of heat in recent months over their stance on battery electric vehicles, but this should remove any doubt that Toyota intends to build EVs and compete in this market. The plan is to have the battery plant online by 2025. In new vehicle news, Imperium Motor Company is an EV sales and marketing startup that is trying to find traction in the North American market. The company plans to offer an SUV and a midsize pickup as its lead products in the mainstream vehicle market. Imperium also has low-speed vehicles, think golf carts but with doors and windows, e-bikes and scooters, and even commercial vehicles such as buses and medium-duty trucks. The first EV that will be sold is the SUV. It's called the ET5 Skywell. This SUV has a very traditional look, both inside and out, and has the comfort features one would expect. Imperium is billing itself as the affordable eSUV, and while their pricing has not been announced, there may be something to that claim. The only features they call out in their literature is a massive panoramic sunroof, ventilated seats, a 12-inch touchscreen with voice activation, and intelligent distance surround parking control. The ET5 Skywell is a pure EV with dual charging ports and an estimated range of 323 miles, that's about 520 kilometers, on a single charge. Imperium's headquarters are in British Columbia, Canada, and are building their dealer network right now. Imperium is currently taking reservations for the ET5. Now for some musings with the trainer. Yesterday, I talked about the 10% principle. I also mentioned that a salesperson can increase their 10% natural connection capability by working on their sales and people skills. What I didn't talk about was what those sales and people skills were. I've actually talked about them in previous podcasts in more detail, but here's the essence of two of them. First, positivity. There is nothing so infectious as positivity. A salesperson that has developed that persistent and perpetual ability to be positive in the face of everything that this business throws at them also has the power to connect with people at a very high level. I'm not talking about bubbling with energy here. That can be annoying. I'm talking about positivity. Someone that's always able to find a path that lifts the situation and makes it better. They are usually very calm and open. The second thing, listening skills. A positive person also tends to be looking to learn from and connect with others, so they practice good listening skills. Nothing helps a customer connect more quickly than working with someone that exudes positivity and listens carefully to everything they want to say. Practice those two skills on a daily basis, and you will see the 10% principle turn into 20%, then 30%, and even more. The more people you can connect with, the more sales will come your way. This is Mike Little, reminding you that, hey, selling is fun. Go have a great day. Oh.